Hi there, thanks for coming back to the channel. My name is Mike Pitt. I make videos about business and crypto so you can grow your business, increase your profits and increase your portfolio. The title for today's video is how to sign up for Trust Wallet. Keep watching and I'll give you my thoughts. Before I get into the main content of the video, I'm gonna put my socials on screen here. So if you're active on any of those platforms, follow me there, send me a message and I'll respond in the usual fashion. Okay, how to sign up with Trust Wallet. This is something that's very topical at the moment, given the recent uh, decline and collapse of FTX and uh, Sam Bankman-Fried, I think he's currently a fugitive. Not sure whether he's been captured yet. He should be captured, I think, in my opinion. Anyway, that's placed more emphasis on security, securing your crypto and not leaving it on the exchanges where it's potentially at the mercy of greedy individuals, uh, criminal individuals who may take your crypto and then leave you out of pocket. Uh, that's one of the reasons why and the main reason why there's been greater interest in Trust Wallet. Trust Wallet is a free app that allows you to store your uh, crypto with a greater level of security than it has on the exchanges. Uh, in terms of hierarchy, you've got exchanges down here. Maybe you've got Trust Wallet here and then the pinnacle will be uh, cold storage. So using a, a Ledger Nano X, for example, a Trezor uh, storage device will be the pinnacle of security for your crypto. In the absence of that, maybe you, you, you haven't got one of those yet, you can go for the Trust Wallet. Trust Wallet app uh, is easy to access. It's available in the App Store and it's available in the Google Play Store and it's free. So you download the app and I'll put screenshots of the website and the app but it's quite relatively straightforward process you download the app and then when you're in the app you'll be asked to create a passcode and that's a six digit passcode very simple to remember uh, six digit passcode you'll need that and then when you're registering your device you'll need to use it obviously in an email as well and then you'll be given a 12 word seed phrase and that is a key to accessing the app and then accessing your cryptos that you store on the app. So you need to make a note of the seed phrase. You shouldn't uh, leave obvious clues as to what that is because it is securing and, and guaranteeing your security on the app. So you should put it in a safe place away from obvious points. So not on your, your desktop, laptop, computer, for example, not there, somewhere else written down in handwriting rather than saved electronically. But it's up to you exactly what you do with that seed phrase, but you need to have access to it on a regular basis so you can access the app. Once you've logged in and you've got your seed phrase registered, you can then look at the in wallet addresses for particular crypto. So if you're holding Bitcoin on Coinbase, for example, or you're holding Ethereum on Binance, for example, you can then get the appropriate wallet address within your Trust Wallet app and go to your other accounts, maybe your Coinbase account, and transfer over your Bitcoin from Coinbase to Trust Wallet and then from Ethereum on Binance, let's say, to your Trust Wallet. And then when you've done that, you'll see the balances now reflected in your Trust Wallet home screen. I'm not showing all of my home screens because I don't want to compromise any security, but you'll see a home screen and you can see all your balances across the different cryptos. There's, there's hundreds of cryptos of assets actually accepted and trust wallet. So it is a good place to store your crypto until perhaps you move it to cold storage, but it's, it's a good intermediate stage. The reason I'm talking about it is because I don't want you to get ripped off in the way that lots of people have been ripped off recently and had their crypto stolen, effectively stolen because exchanges have, have gone into liquidation and then Celsius and BlockFi is, if it's not gone into liquidation, it's on the verge of being in liquidation. There's a host of others. And unfortunately, is something that happens on a regular basis within the crypto community. So the point of this video, here's how to use Trust Wallet, get your assets on Trust Wallet, and then they're safer than being on the exchanges. I hope you found this useful. I intended it as a very quick practical video. Take your assets, crypto exchanges, put them in Trust Wallet, and then they're, they, are, they are safer than they would be if they were still on the exchanges. If you found this useful, please give me a like. Please click on one of the two thumbnails to watch another video from me. I look forward to speaking to you in the next video. Thanks, peace.